Hey guys, welcome to this live session by IntelliBath. My name is Ram and I'll be the one covering this live session. So guys, this live session basically pertains to this topic. That is why should you learn Python. So guys, in this session we'll be talking about all the reasons, all the details that you will hopefully need to start learning Python and start utilizing it to enhance your future, your career. But before we get started with that, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our future updates, on our future live sessions, on our future updates that you may miss, right? So let's get started. So our agenda for today's session is Python overview. We will basically discuss what Python is and then we'll move on to discuss why learn Python, which is the core meat of our session. And finally, we will conclude by discussing the further learning paths you guys can take to start learning Python on your own and enhancing your future, right? So let's get started. Python overview. So what is Python? So for anyone who doesn't know Python at all, like zero, nada, nothing, Python is basically a high level coding language. So Python is an object oriented high level programming language with integrated dynamic semantics primarily for web and app development. What they're trying to say over here is that Python is basically a very high level language that people use to create web applications and your normal desktop applications and the other kind of applications. But it has many many more uses other than just this. What you guys need to take out of understanding what Python is, is that it's a programming language. At, at its core level, it's something that helps us to program. And it has various and many uses. And Python is very, very popular. A lot of people use it. it you can actually argue that it's the world's number one programming language. You really can say that because it has so many different uses and it's so easy to get into. So that, that's what Python is. It's a programming language. You use it to program multiple different things, to perform different various tasks, etc. Alright, so now let's move on. Why learn Python at all? Well, that's a very good question. Why do you need to learn Python? So let's discuss the different reasons that you should be, you know, uh, learning Python for. So our first reason here is that it's very simple to learn and very easy to use. Now, I know this is a very good attraction for a lot of you out there who want to get into this very lucrative IT industry where you get paid very high salaries for, you know, programming and uh, various other tasks. And to get into it, sometimes it can be very difficult, especially if, if you're from a different background. Suppose you're from a BA background or if you're from BCom and you want to shift into computer science or uh, if you want to learn, start learning coding because you've decided that what you're doing right now is not what you wanted to do. It was just an experiment or maybe it was something that you thought you liked but you didn't like it anymore. So now you want to shift into the IT industry and you're like, okay, what do I choose? How do I get into that? So Python is your stepping stone for that. It's very simple to learn and it's very easy to use. Like when you write Python code, it's just writing a normal language. Now you may have seen other languages like C++ where the syntax or the way you write the code is very complicated because you have to, uh, you know, by heart all these different syntaxes and use them. Whereas with Python, it's very simple. If you want to print something, you write print and that particular string that you want to print. Like if you want to say print hello world, you write print hello world, right? So it's as simple as that and it's very easy to use. You can just, you know, download your spider, that's an IDE, or you just want to use Jupyter Notebook, or you can use any sort of compiler to work with Python. It's just very simple to uh, learn and very easy to use also. So once you're done learning the Python fundamentals, you know, it's very easy to get into all the advanced topics also. That's why a lot of people use it. All right, so next point is readability. Now in coding, it's very important that your code is readable. When you write a long you know, uh, page of code, it's very important that you can very easily understand what that code is about. Because when you're going back into it, maybe to fix an error or maybe to add something new, you need to understand your code. And Python gives you your ability. It's very readable. The code is very readable. So then you have portability and extensibility. 
So now these words are very, you know, long and all, but don't worry. Portability basically means that Python can be used in a lot of different uh, operating systems and a lot of different devices. You have your Windows systems, you have your Mac system, and you have your Linux. You can use Python anywhere, and it basically gives you the ability to use it anywhere. And extensibility basically means that it has the ability to integrate with other components. So if you're a person who's already into the, you know, whole industry and already knows coding, so for you, you might already know C++ or .NET. So if you want to get into Python, learning Python, then it's very useful for you because Python has the ability to integrate with other components, other libraries that are available from other languages and other frameworks. So if you want to use a .NET library or a .NET framework, then you can use it by integrating it with Python, you know. So that's this extensibility. That's why it's so useful here. Then comes the community. So the community aspect is very attractive. Uh, you know, concept for a lot of people because even if there is a very powerful language, for example, you have Julia, it's a very powerful language, but you know, it doesn't have a very big community. And that's why it doesn't have a lot of people you can interact with, exchange ideas, solve your problems very easily. So, whereas with Python, you have a very big community where you can talk and interact with a lot of people, understand the problems way better than you could have understood it without the community. So that's why communities can be very interactive for a lot of people. And I think if you're a person who understands how it works, how the coding culture works, then you can understand that community, having a big community for a particular language is very important. So let's move on to the next reason, versatility. So this is something that can help a lot of you out there. Now, a lot of you are looking to get into the IT industry or you, a lot of you are looking to get into the industry uh, as a whole by using Python and you're not sure of which domain to choose. Well, Python gives you that flexibility or that versatility. It is used in so many different places that you can get into any of these different places but by learning just by learning Python fundamentals. So let me give you an idea. You have a lot of different domains. You have software development, you have web development, you have data science, you have machine learning, you have big data, you have deep learning. You have all of these different domains that you can get into by just understanding Python fundamentals. Once you understand the Python fundamentals, it's easy to grab the concepts, the advanced, more advanced concepts that are available in these different domains. In your software development, you have to learn all the design techniques and all that. But before that, you need to know the fundamentals of Python. And similarly with everything else, if you want to get into data science, you need to know code Python before you can actually use the libraries that are present in data science. So it gives you this flexibility. Suppose you get into web development also and you, you, you finally realize that, okay, this is not what I want to do. I want to shift into some other domain. But you've already spent so much time learning Python. Well, then it's fine because you have a lot of different opportunities here. You can get into software development or get into data science or into get into big data, deep learning and machine learning. And if you're a person who's already done computer science and wants to do masters, this is especially helpful because a lot of masters pertain to these kind of things like data science, deep learning and machine learning and big data. And Python is very useful in that case. So it gives you a lot of versatility and flexibility and high demand. So this is true for Python that I can utmost give you a surety like this particular fact that there is a very high demand for Python developers out there. Now different kinds of domains you just saw and in all of those different domains you'll need people who are very well versed with Python. So there is a very big demand for all of these different people and by different companies you have a lot of different companies you have uh, these social companies like uh, social platform companies like you have Instagram, you have WhatsApp, you have YouTube, you have Facebook, you have Amazon you can see and then you have a lot of MNCs also like Unisys and you have IBM, you have Fractal which is again uh, analytics company you have New Sigma analytics company, you have Ola Skype. It's this uncountable number of companies that utilize people who are Python developers. They make use of them to work in different domains, whether it be you know web development or whether it be software development, whether it be data science for analysis purposes, data analysis purposes, or for big data or for deep learning, you know, all these different kind of fields have requirements in all of these different companies. And going to future, Python is going to be a very big deal and the amount of uh, demand for it will definitely increase. So this is again a reason for you guys to, you know, get into Python. Then comes high salary. Now, but this is a very attractive reason for a lot of you. Why? Because, you know, in the end, we just want to earn money so that we can live proper lives. We can live those lives that we want to live enjoy it and have satisfaction and for that we need a good salary so a lot of python developers get 
very good amount of salary. So let's check out that Python developer or Python any kind of domain salary. So this is we have uh, for Python developer in the US you get hundred thousand dollars as a starting uh, salary in in India you have fifteen lakhs per annum and in UK you have seventy one thousand pounds. Now each of these salaries is a very uh, lucrative amount like in India 15 lakhs per annum is a very good amount to you know start with and as we get into senior development and you begin to get into management you get paid even more so imagine you know getting into this field and earning so much money so you don't ever have to worry about money anymore right so that's what so average salaries will be very high for all of you developers out there who are going to be using python whether it be data science whether it be python developer whether it be web development software development whatever it is your salary is definitely going to be very high and final reason that you can do it anyone can do it anyone watching the session whether you are a person from bcom background or whether you're from a bachelor of arts background or whether you're a person who's not completed his college or cannot afford to complete a college or if you're a person who's from computer science itself who's never just called an opportunity to learn python all of you can do it you can take up this particular coding language and fulfill you know have a fulfilling career and life right so guys i definitely recommend you guys start learning python immediately you know it's a very good opportunity and i think you guys should take it so conclusion guys so all the different reasons why you need python you know it's very high paying it has a very high demand it is a very versatile language it has so many different domains you can get into it is something that anyone can do so it is definitely a must for anyone who wants to shift their you know career or wants to make the career awesome all right guys now let's discuss the learning path now i know a lot of you might be convinced right now to learn python so let's discuss what's the learning path you guys can take to start learning python and start utilizing python so guys there are a lot of resources internet is the best resource you guys have you have youtube you have uh, you know different blogs and communities out there what i would recommend is you guys to start with intellipath youtube channel we have a very well made uh, course that is of 11 hours and we have a 9 hours course we have different courses for python available on uh, on our channel you guys can check it out if you have any doubts you can be have you we have a community also where you can ask doubts about python and we have various blogs that will explain to you all of these different things about the fundamentals of python in detail so if you went to our channel you can see we have a lot of videos and i would recommend you guys check out the 11 hour tutorial we have on python it is very well made and it is very comprehensive it will give you the basics and it will give you a little bit of talk about the advanced also it will tell you how to get started basically right so but if you're a person who wants to get into certification then i would definitely recommend to start off with our uh, academy a free academy that we're providing to a lot of people now we know the covid situation is a very sensitive situation a lot of people have lost jobs and a lot of people are sitting at home and not being able to do anything i would recommend you guys to start off with intelpath.com/academy over here we provide many many different free courses you guys can check out and these different free courses are completely free and they basically a part of our paid courses that we provide so guys these are paid courses that you are getting for free obviously they're not going to be the whole courses they are a part of the course that you guys can check out and uh, see if you like them and they will give you the basic fundamentals to get you started so you guys can check out the python data for data science foundation or python foundation right you guys can check out these two courses and uh, register enroll in them right and finally obviously if you want to get paid certification or if you want to be enrolled into an online instructor led class where you will be taught by professionals who have had years of experience you can go ahead and check out our python certification training course or python data science course and training now these courses you have two options you have the self paced option or you have the online learning option also you can choose either one of them and whichever fits your idea or whichever fits your learning you know ability right so guys that was it for this session i hope you guys understood a lot i will leave you guys with this youtube coupon code you can use youtube 30 which gives you a flat 30% off on all our courses you can use it and get flat 30% off on all our courses all right and for any one of those who wants to con anyone who wants to contact us here are the contact details for india number us number and sales so guys that was it for this session i hope you guys learned something my name is ram and i'll see you guys in the next session thank you for watching